primary role because suddenly during the season, John got hurt. This year you're going in with John not being available. How has your mindset changed knowing that what you've done the last two years, you may have to do for all 82 games? It's no problem. Um, I mean, I think it's more or less expected out of myself than being forced into that. Um, I think I will kind of say I'll probably force myself into that role versus maybe like a coach or the team throwing me into it. Um, it's definitely going to be harder, but I mean, John's still going to be around. He'll still have a voice. I'll have a voice. Jan has a voice. CJ has a voice. So we still have a little, we have vets here that, you know, who've, who've been through the fire and know what it takes. Um, you know, but I definitely, I'll, I know I'll have to carry a lot of that load, you know, throughout the year. And, um, I'm prepared for it. I'm ready for it. And I know the coaching staff will do a, a great job of helping me out with that as well. And, and we have a young team and a young, hungry team that's willing to learn and listen. You know, like I've told somebody before, like this is the first time we've had everybody um, together in the month of September before the year starts. Like you never see that. You know, you never see that. We had everybody. And so that's that's a statement in itself just to be able to see where we're going. And, you know, even during those times we work out, I still have a voice and, you know, guys listen. And, it's been great, so I'm definitely curious to see how tomorrow goes and the rest of the weekend. You know, see how the see how this year goes. Hey, Rad, Rui Ru, was just in here and he was complimenting not just your skills on the basketball court, but your leadership skills. What have you seen from him this this summer? And I guess what has he taught you? Has he taught you Japanese phrases or anything yet? You know what? No, he hasn't. Uh, but Rui is quieter than me, so I have to. I gotta. I gotta get him to talk a little bit more. But he's. From the few days that I've played pickup with him, he's been awesome. He's been amazing. And it's the first time I actually like really evaluated his game and like paid attention to it. And I loved it because he's not a legit four, he's not a legit three. And it's kind of the best thing about it because now we can mold him into what we need him to be. And I think it helps us and that creates this guy is like it's like it's whatever he wants. Like it's it's the limit because he has those intangibles. He can shoot the ball. He can rebound the ball. He can put the ball on the floor. He can defend multiple positions. So when you have guys like that, that are like tweeners or whatever, like those are, I mean, that's what the NBA is. And I think he's going to be very beneficial for us. He's a strong guy. He's athletic. He works tremendously hard. He wants to learn. He wants to get better. Uh, so, so far, so good. I love it. I love everything about him. Um, hopefully he just stays humble and keep working. What's going on, Bradley? Good luck this season. Bradley. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask, you're, being a, you're a pretty humble guy, but you're in a position of leadership this year. Uh, how do you handle that, and how are you able to cultivate a, uh, a culture here that keeps you guys humble, keeps you guys grounded, but also you know you're going to get help towards the later on part of this season or even next season? How do you step up as a leader and also get keep guys grounded day to day? Uh, for me, naturally, I feel like I'm naturally a leader. Like, it's... I feel like you can't force somebody to be a leader, you know what I'm saying? But for me, it's just it just happens naturally. Like, And one thing that resonated with me well with one of the coaches this summer was like, you have to, he said, don't use all your bullets, especially in the situation in which we have. He said, don't use all your bullets because when you have young guys, they don't want to hear, oh, you need to do this, do that, do that, do that, do that. Sometimes it's going to be, oh, man, you did a great job. Keep it up. Keep doing it. Like, it's going to be encouraging. There's going to be times in which you have to pat guys on the back. There's going to be times in which you have to get on somebody and just knowing the difference in, in the timing of when to do it and when it's necessary uh, because it's not always necessary, uh, but there are times in which it is. So it's for me as a leader is being able to find that balance and, and also holding myself to that same standard, the same accountability, and uh, and I think it'll just trickle on down. Uh, Brett, how you doing, Brett? Good, you talking about leadership and you've come off to leadership off the court you've come to a few of the mystics games seeing the playoff fever going on and then got the nationals tomorrow what do you what do you see with the excitement level here in dc and picking back what you want to bring here in the district well i know the i know the wizards got to get rolling man because the mystics about to bring in that that hardware and before you know it that's two for ted and, and on his teams and you know he's gonna be looking at us with a with a few with a few frowny faces but you know we gotta it's exciting it's exciting the city of dc it, the sports have been tremendous even dc united's in the playoffs like they're even i'm a soccer fan too so it's it's been great it's, it's been great to be able to see everybody have success um 
to be able to have a great last few years for sure and to be able to see what the misses are doing what the nats are doing although i'm a cardinals fan um it's, it's great to be able to see what they're doing and uh you know hopefully we can have a, a the same type of year you know we're we're in desperate need of it Congrats on baby number two. To Thank you. This summer, you're welcome. Um, any more comments, any more ways after the All-Star season that you had last year, going into the season this year, playing with some of the younger players, what do you look forward to most about the season? Oh, uh, everything. I'm excited. I'm excited from start to finish, you know, because from one, I know a lot of people are doubting us and, you know, questioning, you know, how are they going to be? What's their identity? Um, what am I going to do? Like, it's, it's a million questions, but, you know, I'm, I'm all about proving people wrong. You know, we have a hungry team. I'm a hungry individual. I believe in myself. I believe in my teammates. And I always believe in my team before another team. And, uh, you know, we, we, my expectations are the same as every year. You know, we got to make the playoffs and we got to make noise in the playoffs. You know, you can't just be complacent with just getting our, our foot in the door. You know, we got we to gotta get over that hump. So, you know, it's up to me, I know, to be able to lead us, you know, both leadership-wise and skill-wise on the floor. And, uh, and be able to do, and hopefully the team follows. But I'm excited for every aspect. You know, I'm embracing every moment of it, embracing the leadership role, embracing the, the negative doubters, and, you know, trying to flip it into some positive. Brad, where are you and the team at with the extension they offered you this summer? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, honestly, I haven't, this might sound funny, but I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> honestly, uh, I've thought about it, but I haven't, I mean, I have my boys, so I'm, my family is what's most important to me. I'm sorry. I've been thinking about that and just honestly letting my agent and Ted and Tommy just kind of work through those details, like the deals on the table. But I'm definitely taking my time and just evaluating what's best for my family. You know, I still have two years on my deal, so I'm not in no type of rush um, anytime fast. So, um, yeah, that's that. Brad, you, for the last couple of years, you've gone up against Justin Anderson yeah. in games. Now he's now he's with you guys. What what do you recall about him, and what can you bring to this team? Me and Justin go back. We were like 15 or 16. We played USA basketball together, and um, he's he's a physical specimen. Like he works tremendously hard. Um, I was excited that we brought him in. You know, uh, he's. I think he'll make a, a tremendous impact from day one. Uh, that's, that's definitely my personal opinion. On both ends of the floor, he's a tremendous defender. Uh, he has great size. He can guard multiple positions. He can shoot it, uh, put it on the floor. He's athletic. He's uh, he's, he's going to be special for us you know, at, at his 3-4 position. So we, we're definitely going to be needing him. And uh, I'm definitely happy that you know we're sharing the floor again. It's been a while. Brad, I know you're in, you know, just starting preseason today and, and looking toward the 2019-2020 NBA season. But have you given any thought to uh, the Olympics next summer and, and whether you'd like to be involved if you were asked? And have you heard anything? Oh, for sure. I would I would definitely love to. Um, I mean, that's a no-brainer uh, for me. I was I, – I can't – I have to word it right. I can't say I was upset about the last two years because I had – I feel like those are the two best years of my life in which both of my boys were born, which caused me to miss some USA stuff. But, man, I definitely – I don't plan on having a son this next summer, so. <laughs> so, or daughter. I, I don't plan on having no kids, let's say that. So, uh, I definitely, you know, I, I want to be able to play USA basketball next summer. I want to play in the Olympics. Um, that was definitely a goal of mine. I wish I could have played in the World Cup this year, and, but nothing's more important to my family than being there for my baby boy. So, uh, that was that. You know, if the opportunity presents itself for sure, that's, a, that's an automatic yes for me. Fred, you already mentioned, you know, embracing the negative doubters. But a lot of um, so-called experts and sites have picked the Wizards not to be uh, so so great this year. Um, how are you? Do you use that for motivation? And and what are you seeing from your teammates that could prove them wrong? Uh, it's hard to say you don't notice it because we all have cellular phones and devices, so we all see it. But um, I don't really, it doesn't, it doesn't move me one way or another, um, because I know how I am and how I'm structured, like, words and, you know, opinions don't really bother me, everybody's entitled to one, um, but I, one, one thing I do know is that we are going to work hard and we're going to compete, you know, and that's all we can ask for, you know, know everybody's, it's a lot of fresh faces in here from top down, 
you know, so we're just getting acclimated with everybody, making sure we're all, we're, we're putting this organization in, as a first class organization from here on out. Uh, that's what we're making it into and getting our culture started from the bottom up and, and that's what we're doing. So uh, I know it'll be, it'll be a year, it'll be a year of patience and a year of learning and a year of growing, but you know, teach his own. I'm not worried about other people's opinion. I know that these guys work hard and that they want to, that they want to win and they want to get better. So that's all I can ask for. Hi, Brad. Um, I'd like to ask you about um, you told me about the Rui on the court, how he's doing, but off the court, how is he like? He's very quiet. Can you get him to talk more? Okay. <laughs> Maybe he'll he'll probably talk to you more than talk to us. So, do you hang out with him a lot? I haven't. I haven't. Um, we had. He just got back in town, honestly, like a few weeks ago from um, the World Cup game, so he hasn't been in town. Uh, but you know, it's a long year. He'll he's going to be here. I'm not going anywhere, so it's we'll have our time for sure. Hey, Brad, welcome back. So, with the team drafting Rui, um, they've added a Japanese correspondence, mm -hmm. and there is um, a focus on increasing appeal internationally. What's your thought on this shift and how do you think it'll benefit the franchise? I think it's important and I think it'll be successful. Because um, I won, I think basketball is the greatest sport in the world. I think it's uh, internationally, it's maybe behind soccer, maybe the best, best, I mean, in my opinion, it's the best sport in the world, but you know, in terms of soccer and internationally, like it's, it's a very well played sport and very well sought out sport. So. I think uh, no matter whether it's Japan or wherever it may be around the world, I think everybody loves basketball. Everybody can see our face. So, you know, everybody's a fan of, of our game. It's fun to play on top of that, too. So um, uh, I think it'll be successful. You know, I think eventually, before you know it, we'll probably be having NBA teams internationally and we'll be playing, traveling overseas to play games. Hey, Brad, uh, don't know what uh, you were asked of like this already, but obviously, as a player in this league, but also as a man growing up in this league, what do you think about that opportunity the guy who's going to be in the, the face of this team? I like it. I mean, I feel like, I don't want to say I was the face of the team, but over the last couple of years, but I feel like I've, me and John have kind of shared their spotlight in the last few years. So it's not like a, I won't say it's like brand new to me. Like it's, it'll definitely be a challenge, but it won't be like something that I'm not, I haven't seen before that I'm not used to, to dealing with. 